Yes, sir. We officially back at it. This is Book Nice Tech. Man, I used to play the trap spot, propped on the block like I was part of the backdrop. Now it's scale, props, effects, and backdrops. The right lighting, you never catch me biting. Say you make it look so real when you pose the biggest fighting. I caught lightning, stuck it in the detour. Replicate epic scenes from the pre war. Compose pieces with artists that span the globe. Here's some foes fighting in the picture perfect pose. Insert the comic book, cut out to shoot a show. Oh, you ain't know? Yo, everybody know me. I made nerds. Cool, cool nerd like my man Zobi Took the everyday display, gave it a spark Welcome to articulated comic book art Simple, ECO right here Spidey taking the shot This is uh, two cutouts layered If you could kind of see it right there The actual hand and the actual gun image there And then the blam cutout just on, just on top of it Lighting is kind of strange right here, so but there you go, you can see it. Something simple. Package! So this was a package here from my man Eddie, aka Marvel vs. DC Rocks. Hooked up some figures right here for the FSP, some loose DC figures. I had to actually call in a, a favor to the Facebook group. I couldn't really remember all of these, these dudes' names, so. Uh, but we got Black Hand, Abensor, Mash, Mongo, and the um, and the uh, what do you call this guy? The Manhunter. So there you have it. This is for the FSP. So big thanks to my man Eddie. Uh, all of the figures are loose, obviously, but they're all in excellent condition. So some nice uh, DC additions to the FSP. So once again, big thanks to my man Eddie. So I kind of got a late start to this week's MTIT as far as getting displays and stuff together, but I'm gonna try to still do some stuff and package much stuff in this uh, episode as possible but i just had a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes i had to play phone tag with these uh government attorneys for my second trademark uh for acba and just um a lot of stuff that i was working on behind the scenes with acba plus i remember that i had the uh, digital comic subscription um and i started uh rereading a bunch of older stories and stuff it's just so much easier to Go and uh, and go on digital comics as opposed to digging out your individual issues and trying to uh, go between three and four different books that may have a, an event running in it. It's just so much easier to do it online. So I read uh, X Force One through Messiah War through Second Coming again, and what a what a great great story that was. Everything leading up into Second Coming was so uh, cohesive with that whole X Men event. I think Second Coming was one of the best X events ever, man. Um, so if you haven't checked that out, you definitely should. I've said this before, but it was just intense, man. Intense. Just a great, great story. Quick little scene right here. Just uh, showing some some possibilities for the placement of the cutouts. Like I, I had said, I had mentioned before in, um, in one of my recap videos from the first round of the tournament that not every single time the cutout has to be coming directly from the mouth, but there are times that you can get it and it works really, really well. It just depends on how you how you place them. I got the snap cut out here for his arm. Really simple, just a small little piece of wax on the back, and then I could angle it how I want. If I want it to be down so the picture could take better, or if I want it to be up, however I want to do it, I could just place it there. And then this cut out where he's like, yeah, I got a, a larger piece on the back there, and I just angle it toward his mouth and sit it right on the side of his face. And it works perfectly because he's got the open mouth, but it doesn't always have to be that way. I mean, there are other places you could put it on the shoulder, farther up on the head, but this one just, just happens to work out really, really well uh, next to his mouth, being that the mouth is open. But, you know, it takes patience to get it how you want it, though. So sometimes I see people kind of ruin their display with the, with the cutout and just how it's placed, and it might be like that or just ill placed and they just could just kind of ruin a nice setup if you don't really uh place the cutout in a in a nice way so i mean you got to look at that every little every little bit counts especially you people that's competing in a tournament i mean we're looking at the exact placement of the cutouts and, and how they look another quick example of uh the cutout working perfectly from coming directly from the mouth it's a pretty thin uh stem but it works well, one cut out, 
decent posing. But you gotta pick and choose, and you gotta pick the, the right size cutout. This one is a little small for six inch. This might have worked better for a three and three quarter inch figure, but also that counts too, you know, just figuring out what's the right size of cutout to use for a certain scene. But this one works pretty well for a one on one single scene here. I love my little team meetings. Vanilla posing. Look like Gambit is getting scolded right here. Some simple real quick, just taking some pictures. Package. This was a package from my man. Andy, aka Figure Freak. It's 11.30 at night right now. I'm just checking my mail. It ain't no sense in going down to the mail unless it's an actual package for me to pick up, but this actually fit in my mailbox, so I didn't have to go down to pick it up, and I don't really care about any other mail because everything else is pretty much just bills. So yeah, big thanks to my man Figure Freak. He hooked me up with this for free, actually. He just didn't want it or need it, and I had uh, expressed my desire to, to get this some episodes back in meantime in between time but I didn't want the uh, the uh, Bucky cap Marvel select figure I just wanted the base but so man big thanks man appreciate it what a horrible figure this is I mean that head scope is pretty decent um, but because of how the, the robe is is made you can't really move the arms and the legs like that it's such a hard rubbery material although this is the better of the two legends mandarins that we got um, I would like to see the, this head and, and hands on a, on a suited body and sort of how he looked in uh, more recent pages of Invincible Iron Man. But I mean, it's not really much you could do with this figure. And, and this is the one that goes for Buku Bucks online too, but it's really not a great figure. A little quick something here, inspired by uh, Onslaught Reborn. Got the Heroes Reborn Iron Man. Not too many people like to use him in setups. Doing like a repulsive blast into Onslaught's chest, abdomen. See how I did this. Just a couple stands to hold up Onslaught. And then I just got Iron Man kind of resting on him to make it look like they kind of flying back though. Simple, just trying to get a good picture. I'm gonna be known, like I say simple a lot, meaning that it's only two characters. It's a simple setup, but Still not easy to do all of these all of these things, man. You gotta have a lot of patience. I've been saying that over the past couple of episodes, but it takes patience. And with the stands, you gotta find the sweet spots. Not every figure has um, peg holes and stuff like that. So I just find the proper sweet spots and and balance out the weight on the stands. Like I mean, they there. They just on the stands pretty much. It's not they're not leaning up against the back of the glass or leaning in any way. It's just being completely supported by the stands. And, I, and, you know, when I make setups like this, even simple stuff, I'll leave it overnight if it's something that I want to keep up to, to make sure that everything's going to be sturdy. I mean, look at this. Like, I had this up. Can't really see because I'm losing light. But, you know, I had this set up up here for months. You know, nothing fell. It, it's been secure like that for months. So you just got to really be Bob the Builder with these things, man. I remember what I was saying about the core. Once you get your centerpiece for your display and it's sturdy and you're good with it, then you start building around it. Like if I wanted to add more uh, detail to this, then I might want to try to start uh, working in broken walls around it somehow. And there's little funny ways that I could do it. Like I could probably rest this up against the stand in some way and prop it, prop it good. Uh, something that I could do to kind of break it. I mean, to make it look like it's they coming through the wall here. I'm not going to overshit, but hey, you know. But that's how it would be. I could easily get Iron Man back up there. I wouldn't really get too angry about knocking him down. Although sometimes I do be having te temper tantrums here. But, I mean, if I wanted to do stuff like that, then I would just start building around it. But patience. Patience is a virtue, man. Let's transfer that, sh that scene into the cube and uh, added the rest of the team. Only people we missing is uh is Jean Grey from that era. Well and Professor in the hover chair, but I'm just still in the mode of trying to get all of my characters that I only maybe have one of and that I don't wanna really mess around and pose too much into the cubes and then all my doubles and triples and everything else left out so I could use those to, to pose them and, and display them and 
take pictures and stuff like that. So this has been like a eight month process of trying to do this and just doing a little bit every day and adding more stuff and it's just always a process. Just making a little more progress, just dusting the shelves as I go along. Still cataloging my team meetings. This seems to be a theme with these circular meetings, but it's the best way that I could put everything together in the case. This display is really just about me. Like all of my cube displays is really just about me and just kind of looking at stuff and being able to access stuff easily. Stuff that I really like that I've shot before with pictures, I just kind of leave them in that pose. I really like this kind of relaxed pose that I shot a couple episodes back, so I just left it. Like, I like the way this came out, so I'll probably just leave it for a while. Somewhere, I figure out how to put it in the case or leave it here or whatever, but I just think he looks real cool like that. Been working on this for the longest, trying to get it at a level where I really, really like it. I mean, I like the core right here, but I still need to get some of the bigger guys in the back. And I've just been back and forth tweaking it and putting stuff in and taking it away so many times for the back row, but I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Some more circular meetings here. I've left this for the longest too. Perfect opportunity to get this in the, in the uh, <clears throat> natural light and get the right angle and get a nice picture. Might add a cutout real quick, but it's just, just a big piece of construction paper behind it right here. But this is a nice angle that I want to get right here. I just spent like 20 minutes looking for a cutout that fell and it had blue back here somewhere. Well, it got stuck in here and I blew it and it came down here. I had to take out all my sentinels and stuff from down here looking for it. And look where the hell it is. You can see it down in there. I would have never found that, but I did. 20 minutes. Looking stupid. I'm to get it as, as compound as I can. All right, I got the cutout. It's kind of shaped funny though. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the right angle with the picture, but. We'll see, hopefully I can put it down oh. a little bit. No, I ain't a gangster rapper. I'm just a gangster that know how to rap. I'm a legitimate businessman that know how to trap. I'm just a hustler that know how to act. So I added the scene back to my display. Just changed it up a tad bit. Somebody, somebody asked me, why are we the only mammals that nurse our young from the milk of another fucking mammal? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> so I'll never change this. <laughs> the most recent thing I did was add Valkyrie to this. I don't even know why I did that. But I'm happy with this. Just got to dust it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo, damn I miss Nana, cock back my hammer, the Bush administration was more diabolical than Cobra Commander, Bush Sr. pushed them big birds, when I think of Bush Jr., all I think about is two words, Twin Towers, you can't wash that blood off their hands with 10 showers. Uh, I'm losing light now, but I had to just rearrange this since I had to pull out the Sentinels, but... It ain't really much different. I always pretty much leave just the same. A little fun fact, originally when I first got Marvel Universe, you know, I hated them so much that 
I like the scale that they were in with the Sentinels, but I would never really set them up, and I would only put them in this knocked out, dying position with the Sentinels, because it was just <laughs> my little way to disrespect them, because I just hated them so much, but, so back to the essence right here. So then you had to have to get some secondary light, because I'm losing daylight now, but. Uh, understand this is a common prob problem with this figure, man. It snapped off pretty clean, though, but I'm mad shit. But um, I got another one. It's still in package, but still, man. So, yeah, man, I'm losing daylight, uh, but I'm going to continue cleaning up and fixing up my display and stuff like that. But I don't know if I'm going to be recording too much more. But um, so today I pretty much was just cleaning up and playing music and I could only play my own music in the video because um, if I play, played somebody else's music, then I wouldn't be able to get it through on my partner settings or whatever the case may be. And I'm trying to get that money. So um, so you heard a lot of like old book stuff in the background and i was just kind of breaking out a lot of old cds and stuff and listening to today and reminiscing because uh one of my boys one of my childhood friends is actually hosting a, a online radio show on b box radio the name of the show is fresh out the box and uh, i was featured on like the fourth or fifth episode like one of my more recent um tracks a snippet from one of my more recent tracks and uh, this past week, uh, I recorded a phone freestyle that should be on this coming week's episode or whatever. So I guess I'll link all of that information for anybody who's interested in hip hop. I know it's a lot of people that watch my videos that could care less about hip hop and probably be mad when I be playing loud music in my videos. I haven't done that in a long time to just play the music in the background. That was like the original, original days of me on YouTube. So I was just taking it back to the essence today and pissing off some people. And uh, that felt good. I mean, look at me, man. Look at my near... Look at me, man. Do I look like I really care what other people think about the music? But anyway, um, so this joint that's playing right here in the background is like probably one of the second joints that I ever recorded in life. And you could hear like the music. It's like sort of, I'm going to play a little snippet from it, but <laughs> it, it was influenced by my time in Cali. Like I had went out to Cali when I was like 19 or 20 and stayed out there for like a month for some change. And we was just wow. And it was just a... Uh, crazy time in my life man understand like i'm a grown up and i don't condone kids getting high and doing things but we were smoking a lot of marijuana during that time and just just enjoying our youth and, and having a good time but um so when we came back we recorded this joint right here and uh it was just and i just this joint just make me laugh like listening to it right now i mean i think i think i i was still mad nice like i think i'm dumb nicer now don't get it confused but i mean i'm play a little snippet but uh, but this just just brought back mad mad good memories though good memories though Bugs the mercenary with no mercy for my adversaries cup of 99 berries dummies in the clip it's like the cadbury bunny how it buck buck at your click tuck the toast in and dip it's war y'all born it's war y'all get prick cadillac riding north cackalac the hack and sack out of pack your iron cats dying acting live and star shit that they know they ain't surviving when it's over where the fuck up bro this money over a bitch she get a sandwich and a soda but none of my chips cats Talking about they team is this, they team is that, they team is whack, they team is weak, they soften and cream of weed, sweeter than need a baker. You couldn't draw blood with a marker and a piece of paper. Fuck a diploma, cause that's just a piece of paper. Y'all was in school and I was home playing. I like the way the uh the green construction paper looks when I do kind of X-Men setups, kind of reminds me of a of a danger room simulation. So I guess that's what I got right here. I've I've showed Cyclops before. Um uh, recently, maybe like two or three episodes back in MTIT, messing around with Cyclops and the Sentinel, but I wanted to revisit it with this different, um, uh, more solid uh, prop that I have to look like his optic blast. Before, what I used was just construction paper, so I was just trying out some different things. But this has been another episode of Meantime and Between Time. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I just want to thank those two or three people that vote down on my videos faithfully every single week. I appreciate your view, and I love you. I love you. He loves you. Uh, so um, we exactly one week away from the, the ACBA, the second round post for the ACBA World Championship Tournament, man. You have exactly one week. Entries are due on Saturday, November 12, 2011, by 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You post in your video responses to the video uh, on the ACBA community channel that tells you to do so. So 
I'm looking forward to these entries, man. I think people are going to be bringing some really, really dope displays. Uh, and good luck to everybody, man. I won't be putting out an MTIT next week because we'll have a nice, huge dose of ACBA from people around the world. You won't need anything from me. And I'll talk to y'all the week after as far as MTIT is concerned. All right, y'all. Peace.